Hey guys, welcome to Agash Bar and welcome back to Midhaven. I took the liberty since the last video to make a few changes, make a few improvements myself. Uh, also, because part of the journey actually took a lot of time. For example, finding the limestone, which we needed to make the lumber mill. Uh, I found out there's a part down here south where you actually have to go to find limestone. Because if you look at the Shimodex, it says that ruined debris provides limestone. Now, I went through all the ruined debris here and I couldn't find any up here and I didn't find a single piece of limestone. So I got a bit frustrated, but uh, yeah, apparently there's um, an area here down south where you can find uh, rocks around, limestone rocks. So that ended up giving me enough to make the lumber mill. And at this point, um, we were able to make planks which is what the lumber mill is for. So you can turn sticks into, or convert wooden sticks, you can turn sticks into wood, and you can make plants and uh, planks, and we can make um, sustain pillar. So yeah, but as you can see, these require quite a lot of wood. So I also had to go down to the colossal tree and cut down every little, tree we had uh, standing there so that was unfortunate but we ended up with having enough amity uh, still left so it's all, all is good so this is the status right now um, at this point the next part is actually I tried to get up to the sky god but there's a withered veil or what you want to call it that gives you damage so I haven't found a way around to that yet um, but right now, I kind of gather that I need to improve this area here, uh, improve Midhaven, upgrade it, build some structures and stuff, and become a little bit stronger before we head up there. Um, I haven't tried going down to the Sea God yet, so that might be easier to get away with. And also, during this uh, project of gathering wood and stuff, uh, if I found out that we have a stable down here, or had a quest for making a stable, which is actually part of the pre-order. So I'll just take you there really fast. And yeah, this guy here, Rancher, was standing here offering a quest that if we made uh, gathered the materials to make this, he would make it worth our while. And the reward for this was actually this one. And this comes with the uh, pre-order, so now I have a mount, and that actually improves mobility a great deal. It not only runs faster, but it seems to have a lot more stamina, so yeah. Big, 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 big change. That's going to be really useful. So yeah, this is where we're at. And um, sorry for not sharing the journey with you, but it, it really was tedious at some points. Uh, so you didn't really miss much, mostly me running around looking for stuff I couldn't find. So, but let's see, what, what can we do now? I mean, we could go down and check the Sea God. But we also have this, and that's the thing about the museum, it's kind of like... I'm not sure if it, it means anything deeper, but it's kind of an achievement display, so we can find relics here. Let's just get off this one here. And yeah, you can kind of see you can find relics and have them at, as a display here. And then you, you yeah, you end up having like a, a, a real museum again. So th there are lots of stuff to find here, which are probably scattered around the world. And I basically just thought, okay, these things, I'm not going act to actively look for those. Because I'm counting on us finding it along the way as we just progress through the rest of the story or the rest of the quest, so, yeah. Uh, what else can we do? Well, we have the uh, llama mill up here. Oh yeah, and by the way, this takes a little bit of time. I had, I wanted to make two um, plank orders, and that took 10 minutes. So two of these, which gives six planks, took 10 minutes, so... It's something you put into pro uh, process and then you just leave it instead of hanging around. So yeah, more or less like the plants as well, right? But let's see what else we have to build here. Building the lumber mill then opened up the alchemy and the tailor stations. And part of the 
upgrade process for Midhaven is that if you look here at these uh, the board here yeah is that we make three buildings that kind of lifts the culture of the city and I guess if we make those two other buildings that will actually get us closer to that goal so alchemy we need clay and gold dust where well, it should be relatively easy to find but again the clay um only time i've seen that recently was back at the the other base right there were little like little clay mounds around uh don't know why i can't even see it here maybe because we didn't harvest it yet so yeah and what does the tailor require? That requires fur, tree bark, and gold dust. Gold dust should be easy. Maybe we should take that first because we can just go and break some uh, boulders, stone boulders, and probably get some gold dust from that. Oh yeah, another thing. This guy over here is a hair, uh, hairdresser or uh, barber, yeah. So, uh, yes, make me new, not today. I, di I didn't <laughs> do anything yet, so I guess we can do that later on for fun. I don't see the reason right now. Uh, but here... We have this trader guy, gold merchant. So he's got gold dust. So if we give him scrap, he will give gold dust. If we come with 100 scrap, he will come with a nugget. And we can also turn five dust into one nugget or five nuggets into one bar. So that's useful to keep in mind when you start getting uh, quests or buildings you need to build that require gold. And how do you get scrap, you ask? Well. You can basically turn anything into scrap, even rocks. So yeah, you can basically just go around here looking for rocks and then, yeah, make that into scrap. Call the, uh, where'd you go? Oh, maybe we need to get down here so we're a bit further away. I'm just pressing X. She's supposed to come running. Oh, there she is. Okay, let's go find some rocks. Some stone. Let's see if we can get that last bit of gold dust. Oh, is this one here? Oh, we do have a gold or pickaxe, so let's just choose that. <laughs> oh yeah, interestingly in the enough, when I was out looking for limestone, I had a graphics glitch and I was holding no pickaxe in the hand, but it was there, so I could basically farm stones and whatnot. But it wasn't uh, losing durability, so that was quite interesting. But yeah, unfortunately when I had to change into a hatchet and then change back, it kind of went away, so... I don't even know what I did to make it happen, so I couldn't replicate it. But yeah, I guess you're not supposed to play like that. It's a bit of a cheese to do it that way. Hmm. Of course, we're not getting any gold dust now when we need it. Oh yeah, look here's limestone. Limestone boulder. So let's see. It's right around, yeah, basically just directly south of the uh, Midhaven. So takes one more hit, or is it two? Two more hits, then in stone. I'm just gonna grab it now because I don't know when I'll see it again. Oh, we got the gold dust. So let's go make the tailor. Oh, there she is. So another thing that I was curious about here in Midhaven was that I distinctly remember me putting down a tent. But um, that tent disappeared. I'm, I'm pretty sure I put it over here. And yeah, you could probably go check my previous video, but I'm so certain that I put it here. But it kind of, after Midhaven got upgraded, it disappeared. So now I'm like, 
a bit wary of putting new buildings that I make uh, inside the city, at least for now. So that's why I put the lumber mill outside and put my new tent outside here as well. So now I'm thinking maybe we should just put the tailor here as well. Uh, let's say build tailor. <laughs> and where's the stairs? Oh, maybe there's no stairs in this one. We can turn him a bit. Maybe keep him straight on the access road, kinda. Something's in the way. What's that? Is that because we're too close? Hmm. Interesting. It either seems to. Re oh, did I? I accidentally put it in the ground? Ah, that's why. Okay, so using the mouse wheel actually elevate or submerge it, so we can still put it here next to the tent. Ish. We'll try to keep it a bit low. Maybe not. Maybe keep it high. Think so. <laughs> so I haven't tried this yet, so let's see what that offers. Well, that's fortunate. We, yeah, of course, we did have all the. We, we knew that we already had all the mats, so no surprise there. Um, okay. Growing, growing, growing. Lovely building. So that's a tailor shop. Um, I don't think. Can we go inside? Oh, it's just decoration, right? But we do have a, a little table here. Let's see what we can do. So I imagine, is that what we're already wearing? I think it is. So this is a thatch rest, west, thatch rest. And that means this is the pants and where's the boots? These are the boots. So as you can see, we get a set, if, set effect if we have all three. But we also have bark plate here. Um, so, question is, how do we determine how much the damage mitigation is? We don't have scales, so it doesn't make any sense to try and make that right now. But we could make the fat shed. Ah, but we need to make linen. Linen is made from rope, resin and thatch. So rope requires fiber. And if we are to make the pants, we need two, we need three. Uh, to make three, we need six rope and three resin. Let's see if we can make six rope. We can make four. That'll get us some way. Um, max it out, craft it. And then make the linen. We can only make one now. Because we want to have one resin. So that's not gonna give us the pants, is it? Oh yeah, it is! Or why isn't it? Cloth and thatch. Uh, use? No? Interesting, it won't let me use or make it. So I'm wondering if there's some, anything we have to do beforehand. We can make the, pair, uh, the shoes, let's make those. Oh, now we can! Okay, so, we, <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a small glitch in the uh, game, so I had to go out and go back in. Let's make the pants. And she uh, put them on right away. Excellent. So a little bit more damage mitigation there, hopefully. Let's eat some food. Just notice she's only half. We should make a fireplace, shouldn't we? Five wood, actually. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I guess we can go and find some trees. some dead trees over here. Let's start with those. 
even though I found out that you know it it kind of makes I mean from a um, concept point of view or what a story point of view you don't you, I don't feel like destroying the trees down by the colossal tree it feels wrong right but they only cost one amity to destroy as well as these dead trees and but these give less uh, wood than the other ones so yeah kind of makes sense to just do the uh, proper trees but since I took them all uh, already we have to settle with these so so it only gives one wood and the colossal trees will give two to four And there's this new creature here. It's friendly or non-hostile, even though he looks a bit like a <laughs> raptor kind of thing. He's called a Clavaru. Clavaru. I haven't tried killing him yet. Maybe he gives scale. But yeah, well, I don't want to kill creatures right now. I'm trying to save a bit on the Amity. So how much more do we have? We have five. Might as well just take the last few here. And these bigger ones require an iron hatchet, so I can't really take those. Oh, there's one final one over here. Should we try and kill him just for fun? See what he gives. I'll take the spear. Sorry, fella. Oh, he retaliates. Wow, okay. Wow, and he has a deadly strike, even. That's crazy. Let's switch to the bow. Whoa, that was a good choice. <laughs> well, we got a flint arrow. We oh, yeah, he gives scale. But he also damaged me quite a lot. So, we got to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, we'll figure out some food once we get back to camp. Hatchet. Oh yeah, remember to pick up weeds. They give three amity back, so that makes sense. It's just, uh, you know, it's easy just to yoink them out. There's one more here. It's called Chingo B. Go back. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop the uh, fireplace down next to the. Where's. Where's my tent? here so maybe just make it here actually so chinga chingo can you move craft oh we don't have any space let's just drop something for a moment iron Orton, yeah why not e craft inventory And let me just put it here. Pick up the iron again. So let's see. Can we make anything? We can make salads. What do we need for this? We need mushroom caps. We need tinder filet. And salt. Yeah, so I guess we'll settle for salad. Make it. Make a few. That was fast. Or is it because we don't have enough space? Yes, of course it is. Uh, throw that down. So, let's see that. Oh, that gave a lot of health. Nice. Um, and I think it's more, probably also time to make some more storage. Wood, fiber, resin. Yeah. 
At some point we're gonna make more storage. <laughs> so right now the challenge is to make more wood or find more wood. I think we're gonna see if we can sow some. Let's get back down to the colossal tree. Maybe have a talk with the sprite and see if he has any helpful items or quests. There he is. What do you have for us? Creatures fed. So yeah, that's the... I'm not sure we can use the berries, but let's see if we can. Tropical seeds planted in the ecosystem. Okay. So yeah, tropical seeds. Uh, interesting to see if we can find those. Uh, berries, berries, berries. Oh, we do have a... Oh, that's just a fruit. I don't have any berries left? Or did I spend them all on the salad? I think I did, actually, didn't I? <laughs> Great. Can we throw the fruit? Link to this one. And then... Can we throw it? Eat! Oh, look! It's attracting some of them. So what are you going to give us, little friend? He gave us a little bit of dung. And what's this here? Fur! Oh, again, the inventory. <sighs> I'm actually inclined to just scrap this or drop it now. Oh, someone's very happy. What's going on? They're very much in love in... In what? The dung? Huh. Oh, well, let's see if we can get some seeds up here. Uh, again, we need space. I hope we someone get the ability to make bigger bags. Shovel is almost done. I might as well keep it. Feather is uncommon. You know what? Let's drop this for a moment. I can't. Just grab it. No. Because then it's just going to take up space. Let's drop the wood. Whoops. Wasn't there one more seat? Yeah, there is. Only two seats? Oh well, it's better than nothing, I guess. So where are they? There we go, three seats. The ecosystem can't sustain any more plants. Okay, so we have to go, where do we have to go? So, what if we cut down a tree, does that... What? Oh. Yeah, but I... Why can I... Oh, there we go. So, we lost a bit of wood here, or didn't it? It's just on the ground, right? Uh, well, I wonder now if we can place the seed then. Since we took a plant away, can we then replant it? Oh yeah, we can. Great. Back to filling. Item is broken. But then we can replant. I should have linked the seed. Oh, these, the button system is a bit confusing in my opinion, but yeah, it's all good. Uh, 
Let's take this one. See, uh, that's so weird, but yeah, no mind. What? I had a hatchet, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. And now I don't have enough. Jesus. That's so weird. I guess we have to collect a little bit, see if we can get some fiber. If, what's this? That's fiber, so drop something. Uh, let's drop the gold dust. Remember, this is early access, so it's not gonna be perfect, right? At, at, at this moment. Let's get more fiber. Salt fern? That's gonna be useful for the salt that we need to collect. Now I also need stick. Stone. Ah, again. Let's get rid of the dung. No, come on. Can we make the hatchet now? We need one stick. What's this? Stone? Stick? Craft, hatchet. Inventory, again. Fiber, let's put this down. Craft, hatchet. Good. And now? So, where were we? Oh, here. Please move. <laughs> Pink. Oh, see, now it's doing that invisible uh, axe thing, so I'm not losing durability. See? If you look down on the right hand corner where the axe is, there's nothing going on. And then we place the seed. Ah, oh, come on. Use. So we planted three seeds, that's probably not enough. And oh, there's, is there more up here now? Yay! That should make it five once we plant those. Use. So we can talk to the sprite again. Let's see. We took care of the five trees. We need to fully grown plants in the ecosystem. And two more creatures fed. But the um, fully grown plants we can probably do with the normal seeds. Let's try it out. Do I have any? I do have these. So that's one. It's probably gonna take some time now. Oh. around here. Oh, no more plants. Okay, fair enough. And then we need to feed the creatures. So what do we have? We don't have any... Do we have any the berries or the... I wonder if we can... <gasps> What's this? I thought it was meat, but it's a seed. Huh. So let's try and remove some of these. Spindle root. 
we need to place the axe inside here again. Oh, not the axe, it's shovel. Link. And then we can take maybe... Oh, let's just take this middle roof. Shovel broke. Great. Stick. <laughs> I hope they're gonna balance that out a little bit. I think the the equipment is getting you know breaks too fast, so hopefully they will uh, make it a little, little more durable. Not many sticks around here. Why am I running around? We have the chingo bee, chingo bee. Stick to give fiber, yeah. Stone. Hmm. Did I rob this place of every last stick? <laughs> they could have made some of these into pig up sticks. <laughs> what about up here? Not a single one. Amazing. What about over here? Still no? How much? We need two. Okay, Chingo B, come here. And you're gonna help me find some stick. Maybe here. One um, sounds like there's a, a nest or hive here. There we go. Jesus, where is it? Oh, there it is. Good. So where is the input flower down there? Lots of weird sounds going on. Stone, stone shovel, isn't that what we got? Yeah, it is. Maybe we need to link it. We already have. So it's because we need to wear it. Oh yeah, that's just it. Oh, look at that little slug thingy. Okay, so there's a tropical seed here. We can uh, probably put this one down now. Yeah. And will we be allowed to put one more? No. <laughs> and we can't take that up yet. 
so we could scrap maybe we could scrap a bit of fiber drop it what oh did I just take a seed uh, this one kill no drop that tropical seed can I place that then use can I sustain any more plants okay let's pick up some more plants what about here no 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 energies spindle root valele I'm losing so much on the ground here. And then we can try the, the seed here. Yes. Does that please the good sir? We need, oh yeah, the plants need to fully grow and we still need to feed the creatures. I really shouldn't have made those salads. <laughs> what else can we make of food? Is there anything we can... Can we throw the salad maybe? Let's try. See what happens. So link salad on this one. And choose it and then throw. Yeah, let's try. Here, eat. It's salad. No? Apparently not. Uh, what else do we have? Don't really have that much. I wonder if they will eat this. Let's try. See what happens. No? Hmm. I mean, we could just check the schemon decks and see what they eat. So what do we have down here? We have these little guys. It doesn't say too much about their food habits, but we know these all like berries, so... Hmm. Oh. Just noticed that we have an unidentified creature here. Makasa. Makasa, where are you? Oh, that's on the bird, of course. High tender fillet, translucent ink, and exotic plumage. Okay. Well, I guess we need to go somewhere else at least where there's some fruit. Jingle Let's go. And I'm counting on there being something close to base, so let's go have a look. What did I forget here? Is that seeds? Strange seed. Oh and yeah, I mean, yeah, we could grow it at a farm, but we could also put it here and see if it produces seeds. Hmm, 40 minutes. Well, now it's done. Oh, let's take the other one. Oh, that, was, <laughs> that wasn't seed, that was done. Fill order is completable. Not that one. I wonder which one they mean. Uh, ruin? Hmm. Don't know what they mean with that because it doesn't seem like any of them is deliverable
Nope. Not a single one. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Stone. Where are we? We're going in the wrong direction. Ah, stuck. Come on, move. Move. Oh, Chico, I might have to get off you here. Maybe not. Can you jump? Get up. Okay, never mind. Yeah, now we're going in the right direction, but we might just handle this a little bit ourselves. Ripe seed. And we also got a fruit here. I think they can eat that, so maybe we should ditch something here. I'll just ditch these. Actually take the fruit instead. Because we can throw these at the uh, creatures. Let's get back there. That was easy. Where's Tingo? He's still down here. Oh. Oh, long drop here. Ouch. So let's see if we can make these little fellas eat this. Link it to this one and throw. Yes, exactly. Might as well throw the other one right away. Or should I have waited? Oh, there it comes. <laughs> Milk? Could I... Could I... Did it offer to milk the creature? I... I thought it said milk. Like, huh. you know. Okay. Fully grown plants. 12 out of 16. Really We're getting closer. Um, but I thought it couldn't sustain any more plants. Hmm. So let me see. If we take a plant away. Will it then say 11? Okay, so we try and chug with the sprite again. Yeah, it does. So we, sh we shouldn't be harvesting while we're trying to upgrade. Which means we need to place uh, five of these. One. And then it says can't sustain any more plants. How the heck are we gonna upgraded then <laughs> but does that also mean the other seeds so this was common seed 
Uh, what if we place bribe seeds? I will have to do that. No. I mean, does, does the tree count? So what if we cut down the tree? Does that get detracted from the... Um, the total? Huh. No, actually the trees are preventing uh, maybe. Let's see what happens if we can now put another plant. That would kind of indicate that the trees are taking up space. Oops, not that one. Uh, this one? Yeah, but it's not fully grown, of course, so... What if we instead... Instead of planting those, actually cut down the trees and use the plants instead. I think we're gonna do that. Maybe the trees take space up as well. This axe better not break on me now. Then use one, two. Too many plants sprouting. Okay. Excellent. Then what to do now? No! Okay, I guess we just have to wait. Thought I had to figure it out, but it's a bit more tree. So it's all about time, I guess. Chingobi, let's go back home. And home is that way. So if we look here, alchemy, that was clay and gold dust, we did make these two. And storage, that was bringing in resin, fiber and wood. Resin? Was there a nut I... Was that the lava milk that could make that? Let's get up here, maybe it's the alchemist actually. No, no, we can use resin to make planks, that's how it went. <laughs> it's probably Alchemy Station that's going to make resin. I'm almost certain. Uh, could we trade ourselves to it? Nope. So, we are back down to waiting. Whoops. Oh, yeah, sure, climb up the way. Should we have a haircut? Short, medium, long. Let's make it long. Top down, free fall, mercenary. Lost soul, original. Never mind. Let's try mercenary. Ah, huh. we got a new hairdo. Cool. Well, guys, I'm gonna cut it here, and we're gonna wait for the. I'm actually gonna let the game run a bit, and then we can save ourselves some time instead of sitting here waiting for the Lazaro. See you in the next video. Bye.